and everybody you see on stage so far. And this wonderful band right here, this hole in the ground. And I want to say right off the bat that I've never been on HBO, but I've been on HBO. Of course, they invented the language, they have the right to say it any way they want. Enjoying yourself so far? <laughs> Well, like Greg said, my name is Al Romero. I am originally from Cuba. You want people here? Really? Wow, did you join the ship or did we pick you up on the way? <laughs> what? How do you think I got on the boat? <laughs> but I am originally from Cuba. I live in Miami now. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> Who would have put those two together? That one thing is very strange being Cuban in this country because in Miami there's like a million of us. But the minute you step out of Florida, nobody knows what a Cuban is. For most people in this country, a Cuban is a Mexican in a raft. <laughs> they have no clue. And the whole Latino image in this country, boy, not too long ago they had those Taco Bell commercials. But it's hard to think that at one point the most visible Hispanic in America was a freaking Chihuahua. <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate it a lot. It's even worse for us Cubans. The two most famous Cubans in this country are Fidel Castro and Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> yeah, it's right all about to those two images. By the way, I don't know if you people have been keeping up with the news, but not too long ago there was this woman that was trying to break some kind of record by swimming from Cuba to Florida. Really? Seriously? Half my family have done that already. <laughs> my cousin Ramon did it twice. What record? By the way, is anybody here from Alabama or Arizona? <laughs> Great, because I brought my immigration papers with me in case you want to check it. <laughs> from Miami, but to tell you the truth, I don't live in Miami anymore. I moved from Miami because there's just too many immigrants there. I couldn't take it anymore. Well, let Miami has talked to Jesus away. Hey, 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 learn the language. Speak Spanish like everybody else around here. <laughs> Talking about speaking Spanish, don't tell me primo Puerto Ricanos. <laughs> For the rest of the passage, I don't know if you realize it, but the crew is all Italian, the comedian is Cuban, and more than half the packages are Puerto Rican. That makes you the minority. Enjoy it for the rest of the week. And for the people from Alabama and Arizona, I want to see your papers. By the way, like Greg told you, we're going to have 357,000 comedy shows for you. Uh, my first adult comedy show will be at 11.15 tonight. I hope all of you, as soon as you get out of here, run right to the back of the ship on uh, Deck 9. Is it Deck 9? No, no, no. Deck 5. I, I, I get great. I go from ship to ship. They, they have different decks. <laughs> deck 5 all the way in the back will be doing the show. You people are great. I wish I could take you back to my cabin, but there's hardly enough room there for me. <laughs> come to the conclusion that these cabins are designed by pygmies. I don't know how big your cabin is, but mine is so small that every time I throw a couple I hit, I, get, I hit the bed. And did anybody trip with that thing in the bathroom and your head landed in the toilet like I did upside down before? <laughs> Two hours my head got covered like this. I got desperate so I pressed the button. Oh God, what a mistake that was. The first button. You get your head cut in the toilet, don't press the button. That's okay. <laughs> and how exciting it is to take a shower with a shower curtain stuck to your butt, huh? <laughs> Doesn't that worth the entire trip right there? I'm going to give you a little hint of how to take a shower here. What you do is you soap all the walls oh, and then you spin around. <laughs> Why should spend the whole trip on? And how about yesterday?
space boat drill, huh? Well, we don't call it a boat drill anymore. We call it a safety briefing. <laughs> Wasn't that one of the most exciting things you have ever done in your life? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you feel now, after the safety briefing, that you're ready for any maritime emergency that you possibly come your way? Let me tell you something. I will gladly pay money to see you people stuffed and drunk trying to put the life jacket on. <laughs> of the lifeboat. <laughs> <laughs> I got my cell and sign card. <laughs> well, you people seem ready to have a good time and enjoy your cruise. My name is Al Romero. I'll see you at 11.15. Good night, folks.